Okay, so this illustration is about this question. What question was that again? Three. Question three. Uh, maybe I can show that quickly. On the curve. Okay. So question 3b like this. So if you have a question of this form, the, the function is not even given anyway. So you have to think outside the box. In this case, it's easy. Open the integral, uh, definite integral property allows you to separate them, right? Once you separate them, the integral of this is one of the given stuff, right? This is minus 2 to 0. You can get that from here. Right? This is minus 2 to 2. This is 0 to minus 2. The difference will be what is left. Am I making sense? This is the area from minus 2 to 2. This is the area under the same curve from 0 to that. Definitely, the other area is below. Okay? So, that's with the integral of this one. Am I making sense? Then also, for this one, now this is the major issue that I'm trying to discuss. This is a transformation from what you learned in topic 2. This curve is being shifted to the left. Now, what is the area of that region after it's been shifted? So, if you look at this, you're not supposed to have any difference, irrespective of how you shift. So, it's like you have this area here. They're asking you to find this area here. So all you have to do is, oh, the area that you asked me to find is actually going to be the same if I shift it forward. Am I making sense? So you were given, find this blue region. Oh, then you say, oh, this blue region, this blue region is the plus 7. Okay, I'm going to move it forward myself by subtracting 7. Subtracting 7 means I'm getting the, exact, the initial function. That was why we said this that this integral we are looking for, because this is already something that has been shifted to the left, right? It's going to be exactly the same thing if we decide to shift it back to the right. If we shift it back to the right, we are not, fine, we are not considering 0 to minus 2 anymore. Now we are considering 2 to 0, because shifting means even the region is being shifted, the interval is being shifted. So what? 2 forward. 2 forward, 0. 2 forward, 2. And the function that we now produce is f of x, which is one of the given information. Okay? So this is the idea of the transformation that we're talking about. For this one, quickly. Question four, right? Mm -hmm. You have found your intervals and everything. They say found the area enclosed. Enclosed by the line and the curve. This is the enclosure. So two ways. One. If you label each of this part A, B, C, area of A is simply the area between the curve and the line within this interval minus 1 and 0. Clearly, you can see the line will have a bigger area underneath than the curve we have. So this is the area under the curve within this interval. Okay? So you find the area under the line, which is going to be this trapezium, Subtract area under the curve, which is this one. So that is why you are going to have to do this between minus 1 and 0. That will give you the area of A. Area of B is easy. Just area under this line, this triangle, between 0 and 1. And area of C is going to be negative unless you put your absolute value or you have minus outside the bracket, outside the integral sign, to neutralize the negativity. Then erase another idea. Instead of that, <clears throat> this is okay. We all agree to this. Instead of going about this, this way, why don't we find the area of this triangle and remove this area from it? Yes. So you can actually just do area under the line, which is integral of L between minus 1 and 1, and remove area under the curve, the green part which is the integral of f between minus 1 and 0. And that gives you this a and b combined again. But then you have to add it to c. Okay? Please try more questions on area from the past question. I'm going to add more. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Why do you have to 
why can't you just do the area under L minus area under um, area under F? Because technically that's going to be negative, and you minus it, it's going to be positive. Area under L minus, minus oh. area under within what interval? Like within the one and the when then there are two intersections. Okay, between here and here. There is no area under F within that one. Because if you calculate that area of the F one, it's going to give you that, like, that thing between 0 and negative 1 and the negative part between 0 and 1, right? I'm not following. Because if, like... <laughs> no, no, just, just uh, repeat what like, you said. Like, if you calculate the in um, integral of F, mm -hmm. you end up getting that positive part there. This one? Yeah, and okay. then minus that part on the bottom, right? Uh -huh. But then if you just do integral of L minus integral of F, then that negative part, like in the minus part, you end up adding it back, right? Oh, I see, I see what you mean. So you're saying just L minus F yeah. directly. But the thing is, you have to be careful with this minus F. Because the moment you say from minus one to zero, Minus one to one. Remember the investigation I asked you to do. I asked you to do when we had a case of a line like this. I asked you to do a direct integration, and you realize it's not the same as the original area, which means you have to separate the part that is meant to be negative and either put absolute value. Did you try it and you got the same, the exact correct answer? Yeah, I actually did another question like that. Like that also? Yeah. So if you could send me that solution, let me see. But one of the reasons I ask you to do that investigation is to be sure that if you have, if you are looking for this area, you can't just find the integral from A to B. Because the integral from A to B is like if this line was here. If, so it's like a transformation, right? A reflection. That negativity has to be considered. That was the reason. So you might want to check your calculation because in the investigation you did, you guys realize from A to B does not give you the exact area. Then I ask you to, for this particular aspect, do them separately, then negate this or put absolute value, then you realize you actually got the exact, the correct answer this time. Does this make sense? Okay, so check that out. Okay. All right, thank you, quickly, let's go.